You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Dead electric crap piece of nothing! No fuck up this time! Hey, they are not for you! Daddy's home! I mean, I will take no. care of my fire! Run from the Lord! Come back! I got better things to do! I just want to chat! So as we can see the baby. Ah! Why not? I'm hurting. Fix me up. Ah! I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome. Amusements. Please enjoy the park.
Dr. Orion wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympia. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. All stop. We begin to... I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusements. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kid's parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! Mending my own clothes. Who'd have thought? About your ah! Ah! Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mum says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. Dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog-eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. Take a breath. 
right, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. I found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her, now more than ever. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. Adam, Daddy, over there! That is a child of the family. Not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt.
is Andrew Ryan. I built the city of Rapture for children just like you, because the world above had become unfit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed, if those we left behind will ever come to their senses. So, let us imagine. You I told you about this one. <laughs> you can listen. On the surface. On the surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his arm for a home and lands of his own. But the parasites say no. The trust is ours. We are a state. We are gold. Yes, three little angels. All gone now. I wonder if they missed their mommy. Ah! 
That child, you monster! The shadows won't hide you for long. Ridiculous. Ridiculous! <laughs>
I've been rationing my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I'm holed up in this workshop, surrounded by those wailing brats, trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport sub that's been rusted in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want Rapture? They can have it. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. <laughs> Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there.
Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Tin Man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. 